Hi, this is Christian. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the React Router DOM version 6. Okay, it's quite a little bit different from version 5. Not that different, but the syntax is a little bit different. If you scroll down here, I put some notes there again to compare the two here. So uh, the difference is that you have an element property that you will assign that uh, with the route, uh, the, the child component, as opposed to wrapping the component inside the route uh, tags, okay? So let's go do that right now in the uh, IAE. So I have the previous example we have I'm using version five. So we need to really just overwrite this version 5.3. You can in uninstall it and reinstall again, or you could just install over it. So you can just do that. I'm gonna uninstall just in case and uninstall the React router DOM, okay? So just do that it should be move the React Router DOM library. Okay, so you can see that now it's gone, right? It's nothing here anymore. And then now we're gonna go in and install the version six. So npm install React Router DOM. And you just leave it like that. So you will grab the latest version, which is version six point something. And it should reflect that in the JSON package file. Okay, so here we go, 6.1.0. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off, and I did not change my code in here because this is based on the version 5. All right, so if I go back to my terminal and run my script, it should not work. It should throw a bunch of errors when you try to navigate to those links. Okay, so here we go. You see that uh, the switch is not exported in React Router DOM already, so the app.js uh, file. Okay, so we need to fix those. So therefore in here, I'll leave this running and we just basically re remove the switch and replace it with the routes, so plural, right? And I don't need to actually, I don't need this here, right? Really, um, right, we did that in the our index file. So then I replace the switch with routes, oops. And then I close it down here with routes. Okay, and then if I save that, go back to the browser, and you see it should still not work, as you can see. It says element type is invalid. Um, the route component, right, is not it, something, something. So a bunch of errors, and we're gonna fix that by doing this way. So instead of embedding the tag inside the route tag here, you have to include in here the element property is equal to a curly brace, it's an object, okay? So this whole route here, must be inside this curly brace like this, All right? And then we need to close this tag so you can do that. Okay, notice here, I, I closed that and it has an auto tag. You could leave it as is. You could also just leave it out and then you can do this, the slash and then close that here so you don't need this ending tag here. How we do that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this, make it really quick, copy that and then paste it right in here. Now, a little bit messy here, um, but as long as you put in the right tag, okay, you should be okay, All right? So make sure you close that uh, tag properly. And no error marks in here, so we're gonna go and save that and go back to the browser again. And so you see everything comes back just like before, okay? So now we are now using version six. I also recommend that you, um, when you do the edit flight like this, you pass in data over to the component. Um, you need to retrieve it from the URL. So I recommend that you use a function component as opposed to a class component, okay? So using a function component, you will have access to these hooks called use params, and you can extract the ID directly from the URL using this uh, function here. Okay, so it's much easier. If you're using a class component, you have to do a little bit more than this. So um, if you're using a class, just make sure you watch my, uh, read over my notes on Blackboard and how to do that. Otherwise, it's all you need to do for your route using version six.